Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at my 72 hour packing list in honor of a giveaway that our friends at Huckberry are doing this month where they're giving away two first class airfare tickets to anywhere in the world. Huckberry of course has some really great bags and gear that are meant to inspire and enable all types of adventures. Among that gear is their proof line of clothing which focuses on using merino wool to allow you to travel with less. We've talked about merino wool a lot on the channel just due to the innate properties that it has. It's just a really versatile fabric for travel and is one of the ways that people that travel with one bag are able to get away with it and travel for longer. Uh, you know, one bag travel is typically my preferred method of travel, particularly when I can use a smaller bag that will actually fit under the seat on an airplane in front of me. And so that's the type of loadout that I have here, kind of an example packing list for what I might use for 72 hours. It's even less than what I would typically use because of some of the proof clothing that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So really excited to share it with you. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit more about the contest details. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. For the items in this packing list, the bag that I'm going to be using is the GORUCK GR1. And this is the 21 liter size in Dyneema fabric. I featured this on the channel pretty recently. I've been really impressed so far with the Dyneema material. It's pretty lightweight, very durable, highly weather resistant. So, you know, very useful as an everyday carry bag. But the GR1 has also always been a surprisingly good minimal travel bag due to its simpler layout and its clamshell style. Uh, opening so I come back to it again and again when I'm looking for a simple bag for a shorter trip It's a bag that can easily fit under the seat in front of me on any airplane It's very comfortable durable and it has just the right amount of organization Huckberry and Goruck have partnered up on some really great Bags like the 40 liter slick edition and the heritage gr2, which I've featured on the channel as well I really love those bags when I need a little bit more organization and space But with the goal of keeping things simple for this list the 21 liter gr1 is going to be a great fit and Then moving into the clothing which is where people really stumble when it comes to traveling lighter and you know trying to move into a smaller travel bag one of the best ways to reduce the number of items that you carry with you is to use versatile clothing that can be worn for multiple days without having to wash them. And that's really where merino wool comes in very handy. It's just got a lot of built-in properties, which we talk about in many videos on this channel, odor resistant, wrinkle resistant, temperature regulating. If it's warmer, it'll help keep you cooler. If it's cooler, it'll help keep you warmer, it wicks moisture off your skin. So a lot of benefits built in there and Huckberry has their proof line of clothing, which I've been a big fan of with the items that I've tested out. They recently released the 72 hour Merino travel pant, which is maybe the newest item in their line. I've absolutely loved using this. It's got, you know, just a very clean, minimalist style that's going to work well whether you're going into the outdoors and adventure or if you know you're using it to go out around town going out for a dinner even if you're traveling for work they can almost be used as chino pants and they're going to offer some some of the great benefits we've seen in other travel pants on the channel so they have a little bit of elasticity in the materials so they're going to have a lot of range of motion for a variety of activities they have dwr coating to help keep you protected if you happen to get caught in a little bit of rain if you spill something they have a nice hidden zipper pocket on the back for something a little bit more sensitive while you're out and about. They fit great. These are pretty true to size for what I typically order, which is a size 34. That's what I ordered here. And so, you know, I've really enjoyed them so far because they're blended with merino, nylon, uh, polyester, and spandex. They, you know, have a nice mix of different properties. Merino wool can sometimes be a little bit scratchy depending on the type that's used or how much is used. And so, didn't notice any of that here because of the other materials that are incorporated. And so, they've just been great so far. Love the way they feel, love the way they look. And then I've been combining them with some of Proof's shirts. So, here I have a long sleeve Merino Henley. I'm a big fan of Henleys in general. I just think that they look cool. Um, they're going to work well for a variety of different use cases. I like the long sleeve version for traveling, particularly on a flight. I can tend to get a little bit colder, uh, but because of the merino fabric that's used in the 72-hour shirts, 
then um, you know it'll work well when I leave the airplane, even if it's not the coolest day. Uh, and so, you know, big fan of these style of shirts, as their name implies, 72 hour shirt, 72 hour pants. So in theory, I could probably just get away with wearing just this for a weekend if I'm out and about. But, you know, I like to be a little bit more prepared, especially because I have the space in my bag since I'm not packing a ton of stuff. So here I have the Peak Design Compression Packing Cube. And I've got an extra set of clothes in here just in case. And so um, I love these packing cubes. They've been the ones that I've used the most because they're lightweight, they compress, they have a compartment for your dirty clothes. And so they just really check off all the boxes. They're offered in the small size that you see here and in the larger size that I have in a lot of my other videos. Because of the proof clothing that I'm using, I really only needed this tiny uh, packing cube here for an extra t-shirt that I have. This is a short sleeve merino t-shirt from proof just to have a little bit of an alternative in case it's really hot or if something gets spilled on me i have an extra pair of pants this is the rover pant from proof this is a little bit more rugged it's got kind of a denim feel i really like this if i'm going somewhere that's a little colder um, it just feels like it's going to give me that extra bit of thickness and they're just very rugged and they also are a little bit of a different color. I still like to switch it up when I'm traveling and not wear just blacks. So uh, I always like to have an extra pair to be able to switch things up. Along those lines, I also have the Proof Rover Short. Again, in case it's hot, I just like to have something to be able to wear uh, that's gonna be a little bit more comfortable than long pants. So this is overkill for sure for a weekend trip, especially with the fact that the shirt and the pants are meant to be worn for 72 hours just fine. But, you know, just to showcase the, the amount of stuff you can still take with a smaller bag if you're leveraging packing cubes, this might be helpful for people that aren't ready to go full minimalist with one of each thing. So, you know, that's kind of the layout that I'm gonna be using here without sacrificing my ability to use a personal item. For my socks and underwear, I have a shadow pocket, so I just have three pairs of socks, three pairs of underwear. This is a two liter shadow pocket, so it really just takes up no space, which is awesome. And then as far as a dot kit, I have the smaller spiff kit from Mystery Ranch, which I've featured in some videos in the past. I picked this one because it's got a small footprint. It's really flexible, which I'm a big fan of, so it'll squeeze into my bag without taking up a ton of space. But then it also just has a really cool layout. It opens flat. It's got two dedicated areas for your stuff, a little loop to hold something like a razor or a toothbrush. I have a larger compartment. These have this see-through material that also feels like it's gonna keep your stuff protected from spills. So I have some shampoo, deodorant. On the other side, there are a couple of little elastic slip pockets that are helpful for things like my shaving cream, my contact lens solution. So even with those items in there, I'd still have a little bit of space. And then because of the flexibility, when I toss it into my bag, it doesn't feel like it's taking up an overwhelming amount. And then on the tech side, I'm gonna be using the Bellroy Tech Kit. This is the collaboration that was done with Carryology. So it's got the aqua guarded zippers to give me just a little bit more peace of mind. Again, because I have some leftover space, I went with this one, which has a pretty rigid exterior. So it feels like it's gonna offer a little bit more protection for my hard drive and other items that are on the inside. In general, it's always great to have a tech pouch when you have space because you know if you're working remotely or on an airplane, you can pull this out, rest it next to you, and you have everything easily accessible. The tech kit from Bellroy, it's got a pretty simple layout in general, so you just have two larger pockets on the back. This is gonna have like a power brake for my laptop and other devices. I have an external portable battery to charge my devices while I'm on the go. And then I have the mini tripod from Peak Design, which has been surprisingly useful in many situations. I love this thing, it packs away into this super small pouch, it's tiny, it's MagSafe compatible, and then you know it just gives me a very useful, simple tripod to use when I'm you know, trying to get some pictures, if I'm traveling, if I'm taking a video call, you know, it can be helpful. And then the tech kit has a couple of other elastic bands, I have some wired headphones, which I'm becoming more and more used to these days, the reliability that they offer is still really nice you don't have to worry about charging and then on the back you have a magnet compartment that has a little bit of a more rigid uh, pocket here and that's where i have my hard drive with its cable which is you know something that i'm always using while i'm on the go 
particularly as you know, being on YouTube, editing, and then along those lines, I also have my 14 inch MacBook Pro, which is what I typically take with me anywhere that I travel as I'm always editing, always doing a little bit of remote work. And so, yeah, that covers the majority of the items that I'm gonna be using. I think the only thing I hadn't talked about is shoes. You know, for any of these trips, I would probably just take the one pair of shoes, something versatile like the Vans Ultra Range XO, which I featured in a couple of different videos. So I'd be wearing these if I was on a flight or going from place to place. I really like these because they're very comfortable to wear for a long period of time, have a nice amount of traction. So if I'm going into the outdoors and need some of those additional benefits. I also just like the classic fans look. This isn't the dressiest shoe per se, but it's a silhouette that I would be comfortable wearing, you know, pretty much anywhere that I'd be going for a more casual trip. Probably not something I'd take for a business trip, but if I'm going to just walk around cities, maybe do some hiking and then go out at night to a bar or something, I would feel just fine with those. And so beyond that, we can go ahead and start loading the bag out. And so, here I have, again, the GR1, 21 liters. You have the clamshell style opening. And so the first thing that's gonna go right into the bottom is the Peak Design Packing Cube with those extra clothes. So that goes right there. And then I will toss in the shadow pocket that has my socks and underwear along with my dot kit. And then closer to the top, I'll place my Bellroy Tech Kit and so it all just kind of assembles in there nicely, which is one of the benefits of modular packing and using these types of cubes and pouches. So that's really nice. And then you have some additional organization built into the lid of the GR1s. And so in this compartment at the top, I'll just place my Randolph sunglasses with their case. There's still some leftover capacity there if I wanted to store anything else. I'm not gonna use this compartment because I have a couple of accessories that I'm gonna be storing in the front zipper quick access. So as far as you know, the inside of the GR1, this will pretty much be it. So I can go ahead and zip this up. And then on the back of the GR1, you of course have the bomb-proof laptop compartment with a nice false bottom. Plenty of space there for my 14-inch MacBook Pro. And then at the top, one of my favorite things with the Dyneema and similar editions of the GR1 has been this quick access pocket that's included at the top. This is where I will place my AirPods. I have my Magic Mouse for when I'm working from that laptop, when I'm working remotely. And then I have a cable to charge my phone and tablet while I'm on the go. That all fits in there with plenty of room to spare. And that's pretty much it. Even with all that stuff packed into this 21 liter bag, it doesn't feel overly stuffed. Still gonna maintain a very slim profile. And there's even a little bit of leftover space here at the top if there was maybe a lighter jacket that I wanted to use either for the flight or if I was going somewhere a little bit colder. The Proof Collection also includes some really awesome, versatile jackets. Here I have a shirt jacket that is infused with graphene. I featured this in a couple of videos a while ago, and I've been really impressed with how warm this is given that it's a really small looking article of clothing. Like it doesn't feel like it would be that warm, but like other puffy jackets, it just always surprises me. And then just having that shirt jacket style gives it a good look. It doesn't feel super technical or outdoorsy. You can wear it open, buttoned up. I think it looks great in a variety of situations. And then because of the materials, it's really lightweight and I could technically squeeze it into the top here if I wanted to, although I'd probably just be wearing it on a flight because it also has a couple of really useful pockets and zippers to access my travel documents, wallet, things like that while I'm in flight. I've talked a lot in previous videos about how valuable I think a jacket can be as a travel accessory, so that would be a bonus, but not required. And so with the clothing and gear included in this compact bag, I'd be pretty much ready to handle anything that I've run into regardless of whether I was traveling by airplane, train, boat, or car. And so that's it. That is an example of a 72 hour packing list that I might use for a weekend adventure. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if you have any questions on the items that I featured in the video or suggestions for similar items that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in entering the giveaway, I'll make sure to include a link in the description below to the contest page from Huckberry. It's gonna be running through the end of March. If you wanna enter, I believe you get 
one entry for every item over $75 that you purchase. And there's gonna be a couple of different categories throughout the month that will lead to bonus entries. So I'll make sure to include any details that I have for that in the links below. And if you enjoyed this style of video, I'll also include links to some of the other packing lists and roundup videos that I've done where I talk about my favorite travel bags and other similar style gear. And as always, I wanna thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.